Greetings, boxing fans. This is Nickel being Box News. The biggest fight in boxing right now. Everyone should know, okay? Even your fair weather fans, everyone should know would be Terrence Bud Crawford versus Arrow the Truth Spence. I mean, if you're looking for any other fight outside of that one, being the biggest fight of the year, you just don't know boxing. Alright? <clears throat> but as as always, the WBC throws the fucking monkey wrench in the plans. Now they're upgraded. Freaking Keith Thurman to WBC mandatory. Alright? That's the situation right now. That's in there. And, and as we all know, Errol Spence don't want to give Keith Thurman a chance. But Keith Thurman wouldn't give him an opportunity when he was in the same spot, you know, when he needed it. And when he wanted it, Keith Thurman wouldn't give him the opportunity for the belt. So Errol Spence feels the same way. But that's one situation. The biggest dilemma that everyone's facing is why isn't the deal made yet? All these um, outside resources, uh, Pugmire, all those guys, all those writers, all the, oh, the, the fight is closest to being made, all that type of shit. Listen, we've been hearing, you know, all these October dates. Now I'm hearing November dates. Look, stop throwing out dates. All we want to hear is that the fucking fight is made or it's not going to be made so we all can move on as fans. You know, it, it's enough of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to see a fight. We all know that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are elite fighters at their weight class. All right? Hagler Hearns. Possibility, right? That's what I'm looking forward to. A throwdown. But at the same time, all the uh, promoters, whoever's involved, gotta, gotta, gotta understand. Fans and fans gotta have time to buy the tickets. You just can't tell us, hey, the fight next week, the fight's in about a month. I mean, we need time to prepare to get tickets, get flights, get, get, get room and board, all that type of shit. But I know it's gonna be one of those spur of the moment shit that they're gonna just throw out there and then just expect motherfuckers to go out. But it is what it is though, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna support the fight if I can, but they do some spur of the moment shit. Fuck it, I catch it on TV, you know, pay per view. But this is gonna be a dynamic fight that I just can't wait to happen. And at the end of the day, you know, um, boxing fans on both sides, I mean, EJ fans and Bud fans are currently going at it, face to, you know, who's better? Me personally, I'm gonna say it like this here. Whoever got the most dog in them is gonna win that fucking fight. Period. Cause at the end of the day, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna have to kick in that dog. Your, your dog instinct, your dog mentality. You know, skills are gonna pay the bills too, but at the end of the day, when when, when you gotta pick yourself up and you and you're tired, who got that last bit of dog instinct that's gonna kick in to do what they gotta do? gonna be a hell of a fight i hope it happens right now I'm very optimistic you know i don't know if it's gonna happen or not you know because of how things are being done you know this shit should have been announced maybe three months ago you know uh bub croft have been out of been out of the ring for damn near a year since november 19 was the last fight errol spence been out of the ring for like three months you know hey he said he was going to do exactly what he done. Allow him to. Dude said he wanted all the belts. He was going to go after everybody with a belt. Allow him to. That's my that's my whole deal. You know? I just want the best to fight the best. This is no EJ fan, Bud fan shit right here. I'm going to call it how I see it. Of course, we all know all of us have our pickings we have our pickings of course but it is what it is you know but that don't mean that you look that you dislike the other fighter you know i fuck with both fighters you know what I'm saying for being a fan of them you know but we're gonna have to wait to see what happens um as far as keith thurman 
Man, I don't even care to see that fight. Keith Thurman's been out of the ring too long. He's rusty. Doesn't look like himself. Uh, when he was the elite fighter, you know, he didn't want to fight nobody of substance. So now that he's been out of been out of the ring with all these injuries and that shit, you know, why come back? You know, dude, but like he had a hard time with Mario Barrios. So. <laughs> He, he, he may not, he, he may want to stay away from any lead fighter like a Terrence Crawford or a Errol Spence. It may not end well for him. We all know that. You know, I, I think personally Keith Thurman is just trying to get that last retirement paycheck and then sail off into the sunset and announce his retirement right after the fight, like Sean Porter did. That's, that's just my thoughts. You know, that's just my thoughts. But outside of that, it's just about seeing great fights. It's about respecting, you know, the, the, the sport of boxing. You know, enough of that bullshit. In any other sport, we see the best fight the best. Or we see the best, excuse me, we see the best challenge the best. But in boxing, we don't always get that, man. I mean, Devin Haney. He proved to us that he was the best in his division. Jamel Charlo proved to us that he was the best in his division. Okay. Now we want to see who's the best in the welterweight division. That's my main take on all of that shit, man. But for right now, I think this whole Keith Thurman shit can be put on the shelf. Nobody wants, nobody cares to see a Keith Thurman and see, they care to see what he can do. He's not that same dude. He's not that same dude. And uh, if this whole dispute is over money, financial, listen, fighters got to learn to bet on themselves. Devin Haney did it. Deontay Wilder did it. I want to see these fighters bet on themselves. All right. Uh, just take. You know, I can't. You know, I, I can't pocket watch. But at the end of the day. 45, 55, 60, 40. Whatever it is, man, bet on yourself. You know what? With a rematch clause, I'll take this, I'll take this amount. But if I win, on the flip side of that, I want the highest side. If I win, now I want to be the 60, 40 or the 55, 45. That's how you gamble if you have faith in yourself. Sometimes it just appears that some of these boxers don't have faith in themselves. They don't believe that they could do it. It's almost like cashing out. You know what? Let me get the highest payday. Because if I lose, and it depends on what fashion I lose, you guys may not see one of these fighters anymore. It may definitely sail off in the sunset. That's what I'm looking at. You know? And that shit ain't cool. Bet on yourself, man. Bet on yourself. We all know Errol Spence is betting on himself, man. I just want to see Bud bet on himself. I want to see this shit happen. By, by all means necessary, we got to make sure it happens. Um, it's going to be a wonderful fight if it happens. But both guys got to come to some, some kind of agreement. And I will say now, if this fight does not happen, it's a plain, solid duck on Buzz's part. And why I say it's Buzz's part is because Errol Spence already has his side of the contract done per his team. And like I said, Bud needs to bet on himself and just go ahead and do whatever he got to do. And if he, if, he, if he loses, so be it. Motherfucker, you tried. You did what you had to do. You're a true warrior. But if you win, now you the fucking A-side. You call the shots to do what you got to do. That's what it's all about, man. At the end of the day, you still win. The fans still win. And boxing wins. And that's what the sport is all about. Everyone winning. So with that being said, make sure you leave a comment below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the bell shape icon. And it's Nick of Being Boxer New. And I'm out.